Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Thank you for, um, you know, just tuning into this video. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. I believe that God has scheduled an encounter for you. I always pray and tell the Lord that may these videos reach the right audience that God wants to reach. I pray that the video should not just be another content. It should be an encounter for someone that is going to move them from where they are to where they are supposed to be. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe and I bring you a fresh word from the Lord every day i bring you prophetic directions prophetic instructions and i also pray with you live connecting my faith with you believing god for supernatural signs and wonders in your life if you're interested in this kindly subscribe to the channel and just ring the notification bell so that you are updated with my posting activities the lord bless you in jesus mighty name amen god says i should tell you do not trust the wrong voice i woke up with this very, very strong uh, uh, prophetic word in my spirit. He says, do not trust the wrong voice. There's a scripture that says there are, it may be many, so many voices in the world and none of them are without interpretation. You will live in a world that is speaking. We live in a stalking world, in a talking world, not a talking world. The world is talking. We live in a world where there are people who are speaking. And some of these people claim to speak from God. You know, they claim to speak from the Lord. They say, oh, God is telling me and God is not telling me. The scripture warns us about that. You know, now everybody, it, it seems like they are hearing from God. And you might trust the wrong voice and you listen to instructions and dictates from the wrong voice and it's going to sway you off completely. You need to learn what voice to trust. You need to learn what voice to trust. That's the reason why when you begin your Christianity, the first thing you must do is to pray for the spirit of discernment. Is to pray for the spirit of discernment. Don't be emotional. Do not be an emotional Christian. You must be a Christian that discerns beyond what is said. And the Lord is saying, you might have been trusting the wrong voice. You might have been trusting the wrong prophetic instructions. Or you might have been trusting the wrong advice. Now, even apart from your Christianity, there are people who give you advice, societal advice, how to run about your life, how to do this and how to do that. You are at risk. If you trust the wrong voice, you are at risk. If you trust the wrong voice, you are at risk. If you trust the wrong voice. So you're asking me, Pastor, how then do I know the voice? I, I wrote this down. I just wrote it as the Lord was telling me. He was speaking so fast. I had to just write some things down. Before you begin your journey of life, cite your teachers. You see, the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, it says, I will give you shepherds after my heart that will feed you. That will feed you. Shepherds after my heart that will feed you with the word of God so that you will be grown. This is what the Bible says. God says the responsibility of giving shepherds belong to me. I, God, will give you shepherds after my heart. Because he knew that maybe you can follow charisma. You can follow, you know, just because somebody has gotten a, a particular uh, uh, um, result doesn't mean that they are supposed to be your teachers. Just because someone actually is saying that, oh, this, I, I came from the Lord, doesn't mean they're supposed to be your teachers. Beware not so. So how then do you know? How then do you know that you have not trusted the wrong voice? How then do you know that you have not trusted the wrong voice? First of all, the Bible says, nobody says Jesus is Lord except by the Spirit. So you must check out to see if they have the Spirit of God. And it's very simple. The Bible says the Spirit bears witness with your spirit that we are children of God. That's what the Bible says. The moment you have conviction in your heart when they speak, the work of conviction is the work of the... Uh, 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 the, the result called conviction is the work of the Holy Spirit. No man can convict another man. Listen to me very carefully. When you say this word resonates with my situation and my circumstances, that is not what a man can do. No man can convict the heart of another man. It takes the spirit of God to convict the heart of another man. So check out for your conviction. 
And when I talk about checking out for conviction, I don't want you to look from a skeptical lens. There are people that are already looking at some certain people from a skeptical lens. And when you look at people from a skeptical lens, you will rarely hear the, the, no, no, the word of the Lord as pertaining to them. When you're already skeptical of someone, you're already skeptical of the way they talk. How can you just see somebody talk and you're like, I don't like the way he talks. I don't like the way she talks. Now that's not right. So you must check. You must be able to open your mind and say, God, I believe you for a teacher. I believe you for a prophetic voice that I can listen to. Or I believe you for someone that I can have advice from. Now listen to me very carefully. I am not saying this pertaining to only Christianity and prophetic words and you know how to go about in Christ. I'm talking about advice for your marriage. If you trust the wrong voice in marriage, you are going to break up. You trust the, trust the wrong voice financially. You are going to get some negative and wrong investments that is going to you know, just choke you up financially. So it's it's all around. I'm not just talking about your Christianity. It's very important in your Christianity to have godly teachers. So check conviction. Check for conviction. Check for conviction. When they speak, how convicted are you? Are you convicted in your heart when they speak? Are you convicted in your spirit that this man is from God? Because if you are a child of God, your spirit will bear witness with you. The second thing that God uses to God uses him or them to speak about you on several occasions. One can be a mistake. Two can be a coincidence. Three. He speaks once, he speaks twice, he speaks thrice, and these words resonate with you with so much precision. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You see, I'll give you an example from the scriptures. The Bible says that Nathaniel, Philip brought Nathaniel to Jesus. And when Nathaniel came, the first thing that Jesus did was that Jesus gave Nathaniel a prophetic word. Jesus said, Behold a, 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 a Nazarite in whom is no guilt. Behold someone that is serving the Lord genuinely and who does not have guilt. And Nathaniel did not believe. Nathaniel did not believe. He was trying to test the spirit. The moment he said that, Nathaniel could perceive that this man is different. Jesus met a lady at the well and the woman says, I don't have any business with you. And Jesus says, If you know the gift of God, if you know the gift of God, so if you know the gift of God that asks you for water, the Bible says the woman says, Sir, I perceive you are a prophet. Your conviction, number two, when he speaks to you continually, God is using him as a certified mouthpiece to talk about your case. You must close your ears to every other thing that people are saying. If God is using a particular vessel to speak about you once, twice, thrice, come on, guys. Make sure you are not trusting the wrong voice. Make sure you are not just emotionally driven to someone. Make sure, see, not everything that sounds that makes sense is actually spiritual. There are certain things that could make sense in the flesh because you reason it from the flesh. The Bible says spiritual things are spiritually discerned. Spiritual things are sp this is a warning prophetic word to somebody. Spiritual things are spiritually discerned. Discern people in the spirit. The Bible says in the last day. Now, everybody's going to come out and say, oh, I heard God. God is consistent in his character. God does not send another servant to destroy the image of another servant. We are building a kingdom together. As a matter of fact, the disciples of Jesus came to Jesus once and they said to him, there is somebody who is preaching for, for gain. There is somebody who is preaching because of money. You read your Bible, it's there. And Jesus, they said, we have not seen, the disciples told Jesus, we have not seen this guy among our foes. We don't believe that he's part of us. Jesus Christ told them, if he is not preaching against us, then it's for us. He said, keep him, leave him. You must understand that God is diverse. And God uses people in diverse manner. Because somebody does not align to what you are doing or align to what you believe, it doesn't mean they are wrong. So do not also deny a, a certified voice of God because the method is, does not appeal to you. Check in the spirit. I hope that this prophetic word gives you guidance and direction. I hope it helps you understand clearly how to differentiate between voices. I have a whole teaching 
that is called the art of hearing. In the art of hearing, I actually took time to teach people about how to hear the voice of God, how to understand when God is speaking to you, how to know a man that comes from God. The Bible says, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. There are people who enter your life and it's just ripples and ripples of blessings. Ripples and ripples of blessings. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. So when they, they come into your life and you realize testimonies and blessings and change and transformation, mental transformation, these are voices of God. Believe them. Believe them. The Bible would not have been written if we doubted the prophetic voices that the Lord said. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord gives you grace to understand this. I pray in the name of Jesus, God gives you discernment to know the people that come from him in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you, if you got interested in this video, this you watched up to this point, and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing and join this family in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.